Well, hi everybody, now this is the start of our new art project. So in the last project we were using paint to create still life and we were very um, experimental with tone and colour. In this unit we're going to take those lessons, the tone and the colour, but we're moving into using colour in pencils instead of paint and we're going to learn all about perspective. Now in this unit we're going to draw, uh, make a composition which includes in the middle of it a Mayan temple. Okay. Here's an example. So we're going to draw the Mayan temple, and I'll show you how to get started on that in a minute. And then around it is going to be the jungle, uh, the sort of scenery, very atmospheric, very maybe a little bit scary. And we're going to put that in. Uh, it's probably going to take us about four lessons. Here's some more examples of how a beautiful piece of work could look. A bit about Mayan temples, because obviously we've got to get the history in. So the Mayans were a people whose main achievements came around about a thousand years ago in that period of time. So about the same time as we in Britain were having the Viking period. This is the area they lived in and most of it's in Mexico, but also stretches into what is now Guatemala. And there you can see it on a map of the world. So it's over there in the very southern part of the continent of North America. OK, now here's the sort of thing that they found. So they went into the jungle. People started exploring. Nobody had been living there for a long time. But behind all the overgrown bushes and trees, this is what they found. OK, and they found these amazing temples. OK, just press the wrong button there. There we go. So they found these amazing temples. And once they'd uncovered and sort of cut through the undergrowth, this is what they uh, the type of thing that they found and there's loads and loads of them so it was a very strange eerie experience for them to find these temples and i want your picture to capture that atmosphere okay here's another one so this one obviously it's been cleared away but it was found in a place that wasn't inhabited anymore uh, they would had a very vibrant civilization lots of achievements they had invented their own system of writing they had counting they had made big cities now, these temples is what we're concentrating on for the art project. And you can see they're absolutely massive. There's a person. So you can see that they're enormous. They're a bit like the Egyptian pyramids. But unlike the Egyptians, they didn't bury kings and queens inside there. We think they used them for some sort of astronomy that they could use them to look at the stars and to work out a calendar of the year. And some of them, uh, they definitely were using it for a calendar of the year because each step is it adds up and then we think they worked out the year and they went up the different steps each day and the last one the very top was the 365 so they had a way of using it for a calendar now we're in this we're going to look at color and how to do the draw the jungle part but today we're going to look at the mainly the perspective part okay so how to create an interesting composition using perspective so today lesson one we're going to draw a mayan temple using perspective and by the end of this lesson, you will be able to draw something like this. This is my one. So I've drawn a, a Mayan temple and I'm imagining that I'm looking at it from the right hand side. OK, so I'm, but the viewer is sort of down here where my hand is. And we need to learn these keywords to be able to use perspective. Now, perspective is fantastic because it gives you that realistic 3D effect that you get in really good works of art. And so that is our learning point for this project, how to use perspective. To use perspective, we need to learn these keywords. So we're going to be using these phrases, the horizon line, the vanishing point, and the lines of perspective. So I want you to look at this picture. Now, horizon line, the vanishing point, and the lines of perspective. Okay, so have a go at finding the horizon line. I think you can do that. OK, and I'm pretty sure you will have found that this is the horizon line. It goes right all the way along here and it's where the land or in this case, the sea meets the sky. OK, and that's what our eye is drawn towards when we're looking at this. Now, this is a photograph, but this shows the perspective that you see in real life because things as they get further away appear to be much smaller. OK, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and make our drawing reflect this so that our drawing looks really realistic and like a 3D. OK, so this is the new skill because we didn't do so much of this on the last project. OK, we were focusing on tone and color. The vanishing point, what that phrase means is where is your eye drawn towards, which is right up there. So I think you would have probably been able to see 
the vanishing point, the horizon line, and then the lines of perspective in this drawing are these lines as we go along the bars on this um, pier or bridge as it's leading out. There's the horizon line in orange, and these are the lines of perspective that draw your eye towards the vanishing point. Okay, so now we're going to practice drawing with perspective. So to, this is a good way to start is for us to draw uh, a picture of a road. Okay, and we're going to use the keywords. There's the horizon line. There's the vanishing point right there. And then this road, as you can see, starts off really wide because we're near to it. But as it goes into the distance, it's much smaller. Now, I've done a short video talk, just going through with you step by step how to draw this road from scratch. And I want you to get a piece of paper, a pencil, and a, you might need a rubber, and uh, you'll need a ruler. And then when you unpause the video, and I want you to have a go at drawing a road like this. Okay, and here comes the video. So I'm just going to play this video that I made earlier. Hi everyone, so today in art we're going to be looking at using perspective. Uh, perspective's great because it makes everything look really realistic and like a 3D feeling. And as we discussed earlier, when you're drawing with perspective, you're taking into account that everything that's a long way away looks really small and things that are near to you look really big. So we're going to start practicing using perspective in drawing by drawing a road. You don't need any complicated equipment, you only need a ruler a pencil and some paper. I'm just using the ordinary paper out of our printer. So we're going to draw a road and this is one that I've done earlier. I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch in a minute but first let's have a look at this one. So as discussed before here's my horizon line and I've decided to put the horizon just above halfway up my piece of paper and this is my vanishing point and because the road goes all the way off into the distance the road's going to go all the way to the vanishing point. So let's have a go at doing that from scratch. So here's a clean piece of paper. And you're going to do it with me. And you just pause the video when you want to, if you need to just do something, uh, and then unpause it again when you're ready. So here's the horizon line first. Just make sure you can see this. That's a bit better, isn't it? So horizon line just above halfway up your piece of paper. Draw a horizontal line with your ruler across the page, parallel to the way that the paper is, to the top of the paper. There we go. I'm doing it a little bit firmer than I would do so that you can see it on the camera. I'm gonna choose a vanishing point just off to the right hand side because that's gonna make the perspective much more interesting. Okay, so when I finish my picture, when I do my Mayan temple, it's gonna be a lot more interesting if we take a, a vanishing point off to one side. Everything that's near to us, the viewer, looks really big. Okay, so here's my road. My road is starting here, and I'm standing just off to one side, the viewer, maybe back here a little bit. And I'm looking away into the distance, so my road goes all the way to the vanishing point. So that's this side of the road, the right-hand side. And then the left-hand side is going to start really big, because we're near to it, and finish really small at the same vanishing point. So there's my road stretching off into the distance. Now I'm going to put on some lines down the middle of the road, the white lines that you normally see on any road. And they're going to go from the middle all the way to the vanishing point. When they're up here, they're really small, just thin lines because they're a long way away. They're getting a little bit bigger now, and I'm doing them a little bit firmer Okay, and then the ones, so that's what I've got so far, but the ones right down here, they're going to be quite a bit bigger, and they might be a bit wider, wider than just one line. So when I do my white lines in the middle of the road down here, using my ruler to get them in line, I'm going to start, this one's the one nearest to us. It's a bit longer. It's also a bit wider. Okay, and so that's the white line there. Then I've got a little gap to this next one. Still using my ruler to line it up with the vanishing point. Remember that when you're doing the work with a ruler, or with a pencil, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. You can just go over it again and rub it out. 
we're going to do our final piece with colouring pencils. You'll start with drawing, ordinary drawing pencil like we've got now. And then you'll go over the bits you want to keep with your colouring pencils. And any bits that you don't like or you've gone wrong, and you just cover them up. So it's not the end of the world. So these ones, they're getting a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner as they get nearer to the vanishing point. And this time, these ones here, I'm probably going to just do two lines quite close to each other. And then these ones I'll go to, they're going to be a little bit smaller. And this one will be a bit bigger. That should do it. All right, so there is my road using perspective. This is my vanishing point. And this is my horizon line. Okay, now I want you to do the same. So there we go. And then now we're going to move on to how can you use this to actually use this idea of perspective to create a Mayan temple. So this one, and this is today's learning objective, we've got the same idea, vanishing point in about the same place and the horizon line. Later, all this is going to be full of trees and jungle and everything, but we draw it on at the beginning, and then later we're either going to cover it up or rub it out, like I've done here. So the horizon line did start by going right the way through there, but when I put the temple there, I rubbed it out. And for this one, I'm going to show you another short video that I've done where I'm showing you how to draw this Mayan temple from scratch. So let's just get on to that one. And then this should be here. Okay, everybody. So we've drawn a road to get the hang of using perspective in drawing. And we've got our horizon line on our vanishing point. And now we're going to move on to drawing a Mayan temple. It's exactly the same. We have a horizon line and a vanishing point there. I've exaggerated mine a little bit so you can see it. And then the thing that's different uh, compared to the road is that the Mayan temple doesn't go all the way to the horizon. But the different parts, the different stone blocks, so these are the massive stone blocks that they're made. And later we can shade it in and in introduce lots of other elements. But we're just drawing the outline today. And the lines of the blocks should head off towards the vanishing point like these do and that way we're going to get the, the really fantastic realistic feeling that here's a Mayan temple we're standing over here and we're just on the right hand side of it and we can see the blocks going off into the distance so that these ones look this part of the temple looks a bit smaller than this bit okay now we're going to go do this from scratch so here's a clean piece of paper i want you to do it with me pause the video as and when you need to okay in fact i'm going to remove that one from underneath because i think that might put me off a bit and i'm going to put my piece of paper on another piece of paper because sometimes you get a nicer feeling from having it on a soft surface than from having it on a hard table right so horizon line first i'm going for horizon line like we did with the road which is slightly above halfway on my piece of paper. I'm drawing this firmer than I would do, pushing harder with the pencil than I would do so that you be able to see it. I'm putting the vanishing point off here to the right. And now I'm going to start with my temple. So my temple, I think the bottom of the temple that I can see is going to be about here. So that's the first block of my Mayan temple. And this, I'm just drawing the bit I can see his face on to me, this bit. So I'm going to draw just parallel to the horizon line. And this bit, the bit that's nearest to me, is massive stone block. Okay, and it looks really big because it's near to us. So here's my first stone block. Okay. And that's just like drawing a rectangle in maths. You can join the line up later. There we go. Now, the next stone block is a little bit, it comes in a bit from the edge. All right. I'm just going to do this quickly so that you you can see what I'm doing. And it doesn't matter if the lines aren't perfect, but I think I'll use my ruler for that. This is a longer horizontal line. I'll use my ruler for that. Join them up. Of course, I can just use my rubber if I've got some bits I don't want. There we go. Now. 
This Mayan temple is going to cross the horizon line. And this is one of the things that makes our picture interesting. So the next block, as we go up, it's like a pyramid. Yeah. And then we join up our block here, parallel to the horizon line. Now we don't actually need the horizon line anymore. So we can get rid of it because that's not going to be in our picture. Don't worry if you can see a little bit, because later you're going to be creating some effects to make this look like stone. And they, every, everything that you do will cover up all the little bits that you don't want. So you don't need to worry about that, but we're gradually building up our Mayan temple. Okay, so now we've got another block. Each one comes in a little bit, doesn't it, at the both ends, so you can see, because each block is slightly smaller than the one below. Join up again with a ruler. Now I'm going to go over a little bit higher in a minute, okay, but I want to start talking to you about the perspective. So I'm going to exaggerate this bit a little bit just to make sure you can see. So it's going to move the paper so you can definitely see. My vanishing point is there, and this is the first point, okay, on my Mayan temple, the bottom right hand corner that I'm going to line up with my vanishing point. Now, unlike the road, the temple is not going all the way to the horizon. So the block of the temple is probably going to stop about there. So I need to get my points lined up with my ruler. And this is how we're going to get the perspective, the realistic feeling into our picture. Now, here's the top of that block. There's a point. You don't have to go over the points like this like I am. I'm just doing this to help me show you how to do it. And this one when we join this one up with the vanishing point, you'll see how that first block, like the road, seems to get smaller as it gets into the distance. And then we're going to get this really excellent 3D view of the Mayan temple. So there's the first block getting smaller as it gets nearer to the distance, which is what objects do in real life. Now this one, start here and here, line them up. Okay. And so this one's going to go to there. This one's going to go to there. And it's not going quite as far off towards the vanishing point as the one at the top. Okay, so that's going to be what that looks like. Join this one up. Okay, and you do the same and do use your... I'll just go in there and you do the same pause when you need to if you end up with lines you don't want you can rub them out but actually i wouldn't bother too much about all this because this is going to be a jungle all around here isn't it and cliffs and whatever you want in there okay so you're going to end up not seeing these little lines that you don't want at all so it doesn't matter now you'll notice this one when we take this point off towards the horizon line instead of going up towards it we're actually going down because the temple crosses the horizon line so this one's going to go across to there it's not going all the way though because unlike the road it doesn't go all the way to the horizon so then we'll just put this vertical line in and it comes in that way a little bit because each block is a little bit smaller now we don't want this anymore we get rid of it here we are and this one same idea goes off towards the vanishing point And then it comes up from there. That's where that one goes to. I think we'll have at least one more, maybe two. Let's see if we like the look of it. We'll put one more on. It's a good thing about drawing. You haven't got to worry about whether it's exactly right. You do it when you're doing a work of art. You can do it the way you want to do it. There we are. Okay, and let's take this one off to the vanishing point. So then I'll use my ruler, there's my two points, join them up, but I'm not going all the way because the block doesn't go that far. There we go, so I think you get the hang of it. And then the one that I ended up with when I did one more on top of that is this one here. So that's what I want you to do. So you're, the things that you're going to do, you're going to draw a road like the one uh, in the first part of this um, video. 
and then uh, take a photograph of that one keep the road and then draw a, a Mayan temple like this okay and then try and use the things that we're talking about today the horizon line and the vanishing point and to line up all your blocks so that they look like they're going off into the distance creating a realistic feeling of perspective okay that'll be fantastic take a photograph of those two pieces of paper send them to me but keep the paper because when you come back to school we're going to keep all this and put it into your art folder and just a reminder that what we're looking at when we finish this project is going to be something along these lines okay with our mayan temple in it but also with this scenery and we'll talk about the color and how to do all that sort of thing we'll talk about that next week okay all the best take care and i'll see you soon